Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, solar storms have now grounded Sweden's air traffic. Planes are being grounded at some of Sweden's busiest airports uh, yesterday afternoon because of a solar storm. Now, I told you these solar flares, there was a 90% chance. You can go back and look at a couple different videos I did a day or two ago, and I, and I told you that there was a threat. Matter of fact, the White House has just come out uh, a few days ago with a solar st uh, flare uh, agenda uh, on how they're going to deal with it, with uh, a, a, an EMP attack or a CME, I should say, uh, you know, powerful CMEs coming off the sun. It could maybe fry the um, electrical power grids and all kinds of different things it can do. And, and a geomagnetic storm was also predicted. Well, in Sweden, no aircraft were allowed to take off from the airports in southern central Sweden due to a massive geomagnetic solar flare storm causing problems for their radar systems. Now, Ulf Wallen, who's a press spokesperson there in Sweden, uh, said that, uh, that the um, airports, uh, about five different airports were affected. It affected their radar systems. Those airplanes that are in the air are allowed to land at the airports. They're going to, but no planes are going to take off. So the problem began around 3.30 p.m. yesterday afternoon. An hour later, traffic had begun to return to normal, but it was not known when the airport would be operating at full capacity again because, see, this actually affected the radars. Uh, and, and so, as I was telling you this a couple days ago, it's a real deal. And this wasn't even a direct hit. It wasn't a direct hit. It wasn't a big X flare. X flare. All right? But when the, the, the sun is becoming so volatile, so explosive. And now Jesus said, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring and look at all the look at all the cyclones and hurricanes and typhoons i mean the arabian sea just had a cyclone of biblical proportions and comes ashore in yemen and they get eight years worth of rain in two days and then we had the largest storm to ever come on land there on the on the pacific side of mexico when the bar uh, barometric pressure was at the all-time low, yet we've had the warmest year in history on the earth. We've had more earthquakes over 6.0 in, in one year ever, more volcanic eruptions in one year ever, more sinkholes opening up in one year ever. Is anybody, and the sun is coming, the sun's coming apart, and the moon is turning blood red three nights in a row over the Sea of Galilee and Israel. Now, look, if you don't know anything about the Bible and didn't know that these were prophetic signs in the Word, you should be freaking out just over what's going on. It's not because of the Mayans in the Mayan calendar either, is it? It's not because of Y2K in 1999, is it? See, these are manufactured apocalyptic dates. But what we share with you is biblical apocalyptic events that are pointing to the coming of Jesus Christ. I don't know what the plan is. If, the, if, if God decides to use the sun, remember, here's what the Bible said. The sun is going to scorch men for five months. They're going to blaspheme God because of the sun. So you need to hear me. When I'm telling you it's starting, I'm telling you it's starting. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are running out of time.